I, I'm going to try one more time to uh, try and get people to understand. This is Canada, people. Every homeowner, every property owner, every real estate investment you have in Canada, in every province, coast to coast, is under a 2,000-year-old law created by a dictator to steal land, homes, and embezzle estates and their funds. Banned in every country but Canada. Now, I'm not well. I'm 77, and I've been at this for 18 years, going on 19. And I don't know why I can't make anyone understand what I'm talking about. But simply put, if you went to the federal government and under the Charter of Rights, Section 7, you could create the same law in every province as Saskatchewan and eliminate all mortgage fraud, all title theft. Thousands of people coast to coast lose their homes and their real estate investments every day. By the time they get to court, it's five years later, hundreds of thousands of dollars spent in legal fees. The criminal is long gone, the money's long gone, and the land has been resold. You don't get it back. Now, the Internet, when they brought in the new system, Terra not, I can't even say the word, I'm too dyslexic, but anyway, it starts with a T, whatever the hell it is, on the Internet, did not create new law. It just took 2,000-year-old laws already in existence in Canada and every province, and carte blanche, put it up on the Internet, so now criminals all over the world can steal your home can rob you of everything you own and it could so easily be stopped but you don't understand I guess I'm just not articulate enough now I have a website with all the evidence and all the documents and all the this case histories that I could find but what you don't understand is most people wind up bankrupt police won't charge fraud because it was done through the law making it legal and they claim that means you got to go through civil law which means you got to get a lawyer and you got to go to court and it's just not going to be okay they walk away with nothing the most vulnerable are seniors and women but they're not the only victims i know of a young man his a a, a lady neighbor stole his home and it cost him over a hundred thousand dollars to get half the house back and then he had to buy back the other half because she lied and said that they were a common law relationship like what can I tell you people what can I tell you everyone in Canada that owns any real estate is in jeopardy the law makes it possible for the crime the law has been these laws are banned in every country but Canada. Saskatchewan has complete protection. No severance of joint tenancy without consent and written notice. Nothing can be put on title without registered owners being completely notified in writing and they have to consent in writing and it has to be proven in court. Yeah, it takes a little longer, but by God, you're protected. Now, I found ways to get around the law for new owners, but I'm sorry, people. The rest of you are shit out of luck. What's it going to take to make you wake up? Now, I love Duke Ellis and I love Mike Dermott, but nobody understands. It's not the Internet, people. It's the law. It's a, a criminal laws. It took me 18 years lost over a million in investments and a hundred thousand dollars in legal fees just to get the information no charges have been laid and I've yet to be in court and I ran out of money now I have Parkinsonism and I'm terminal every day I step outside I have to wear a gas mask every day I go anywhere I can take an attack like that and die in 20 minutes 
So please download my website and save it for the next generation. At least save it so that it, my life hasn't been a complete waste. It's one thing to be bankrupt and homeless, but it's another that it all be a waste. God help me. Please download my website, people. Wake up. Your politicians all know this. I personally sent the evidence to them and they have ignored it. The lawyers don't even know themselves how to save you. I had dozens of lawyers. I have real I was a real estate agent. I'm extremely well educated. And I didn't have a clue. So what do you think is happening to the little people and to the workers? They just walk away. They lose everything. Oh, God. What's it going to take? I don't know. Over and out.